right, we are now entering Skidaway Island State Park, Savannah, Georgia. Savannah you can basically bring about any size rig in here I think they range anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks a night the sites that are generally in here are 30 amp with water and then there are some 50 amps with water there is a dump station on site that you can dump on the way out or on the way in, so that's not a problem. When you come in the park, you will be charged five dollars to uh, access to the park. You pay that one time, no matter how long you stay. Unless you're a veteran or military, then you get in free. Yeah, the normal parks, you know, state park stuff that you have to deal with. So you come in here, and you pull up right next to here, and you go in, if you've already got your registrations you park it's right here and you go in and check in we registered online we are staying in spot 57 and we'll show you that in a little bit all right so once you leave uh, from checking in you come back out here and you'll turn right and you'll go up here there are shelters here that you can uh, rent out I think there is even maybe some cabins in here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Check the website. But anyway, when you get to the stop sign, the campground will be to your right, and the group shelters will be to the left. Uh, this weekend up here, Grand Design has a big rally here. So we tried to extend our stay over the weekend, but that's not going to happen. So you're going to turn right right there, and then you're going to immediately take another right. All your shelters are down here going forward, but you're going to want to take a right. Now down here, this is one road that goes straight through, but there's about six different loops uh, uh, in this campground. There's basically three to the right and three to the left. So this is going to be camping area number one, and you'll go down through here, just your normal campground stuff. And as we're driving through here, you can see, you can get just about any rig in here that you want to. Just make sure you reserve a spot that's big enough for your rig. We, we are down here with Clark, our 31-footer, and we have a 35-foot spot. But I'm lucky to get mine in where it's at. In fact, I'm going to have to back out of it because it's a pull-through site, but I'm not going to make it because there's a tree that's going to hit the RV. But it's nothing that I can't deal with. But as you can see, there's, there's the electrical boxes on the right, electrical box right here on the left, and the water is right next to it. No sewage at these sites. Again, you'll just have to be self-contained on your sewage for the time that you're here, and then just dump on the way out. We've seen a lot of reflections in the park. Uh, we saw the Wagon Master this morning with Grand Design. So it's good that people get together on their little groups. But this is basically the same thing in all six different loops. And it's kind of nice. They stagger the sights every other one so you don't have really somebody directly across from you. And there's enough room for the people on the other side over there that you're just right next together. This is an excellent park. There's a momentum from Grand Design. We were hoping to see uh, changing lanes down here, Chad and Tara. 
but they'll probably come in tomorrow unless they're coming in today or tomorrow they have a great YouTube channel So you can exit right here and go out or you can continue on to camping area number three. Again they got a nice children's park area. We have not been into the showers or washrooms but they have those here. Like I said I can't comment on them but I'm assuming they're going to be alright. They have almost what seven or eight camp hosts on site yeah it's a lot almost like one camp host in each loop so that's fantastic we haven't had a problem with noise or anything out here they locked the gates at 10 o'clock uh, you can't get out unless by code and you can't get in uh, unless uh, I don't know how you get in after 10 I think they lock it between you have a code. 6 and 10 so if you're coming in late at night, make sure you make arrangements to uh, be able to get in. It gets real dark in here. There's not many lights, so if you like setting up in the dark, this would be a perfect place. This would be for a you. perfect place because it's nice and dark in here. The only lights are on is at the, the uh, restroom areas. But it's just beautiful. You've got your your Spanish moss hanging down from the oak trees. Isn't that a pretty RV there? It's just beautiful. There's a solitude. I love that paint job. Yeah. Full body paint. That's probably a four slider. Similar to what we have. There's a Murata, Coachman Murata. Hey, hey, Eric, is that you? <laughs> Kevin, is that you? Also got handicap spots here if you need handicap places and all the sites have a um, tent thing too where you could yep then you could camp on you'll notice that some of them the picnic tables are up on the tent area so there's a big square area raised up that you could put the uh, your big tent on or your easy up or whatever you would like to do all right, this is camping area number four. If I remember right, this is where we're at. So this is the other side of the road. Right there to the left is the main drag coming up through the park. Real easy to find, and it's real easy to get here from the interstate. You won't have a problem uh, trying to get through as long as you don't go downtown. This park has got a lot of charm to it. Yep, this is. I mean, the moss and everything is absolutely oak trees it's just beautiful here yeah, there's an arctic fox yeah we thought about getting one of those but then we thought about it and we decided not to think about it <laughs> that's funny maybe 15 20 years ago maybe yeah i don't know how we were doing that but it would be nice as far as getting around and doing things. Oh, yeah. But I just don't know about climbing up on the top of a rig and sleeping. I just have this claustrophobic... I can do it for maybe a week and that would be it. So right here, this is going to be spot 57. This is where we've got Clark. And as you can see, I've got a tree right there by the <laughs> pedestal. So I don't think I'm going to make up. that turn. In fact, I'm almost going to have to jackknife it in just to get it, Hooked just up. to get it out and backed out. But that's Skidaway Island State Park. Yep. We Beautiful. A, highly, highly recommend this place. Yep. There's a lot of other places, but they're almost 45 minutes away from downtown. This park right here is 15 minutes. And yes. we also recommend to park at the Visitor Center. Not Dollar the Welcome hour. Center. The Visitor Center downtown. Take the trolley ride. They're about 30 bucks. Hop on, hop off. Either the old Savannah tours. Yep. 
and, and they'll take you around the whole town. You can get off any stop and get back on as long as you want the whole day. Uh, it's a very good informative tour. I mean, there's a Savannah is a, a really an old town, one of the oldest towns in the United States, and it's a third and it's the third largest port. So we'll talk about it later on, and uh, a little bit more about Savannah.